Hey guys, welcome to this lesson on the girl from Ipanema. We're going to be covering in two different ways. One in the key of F, we're going to be going over the chords and the melody. And we're also going to be taking a look at the version uh, that you hear with Stan Getz, Astro Gilberto and João Gilberto. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to our channel and leave us a thumbs up. If you want to check out our Patreon page, we have loads of exclusive lessons, tabs, backing tracks, is patreon.com forward slash alt guitar. So let's get started. Let's get an overview of the piece. This piece has two sections, A and B. The A section has eight bars, and we're going to play that twice. The first time, though, we're going to add the turnaround at the end, not on the second time. Then we play the B section, which has 16 bars, and then we're going to repeat the A section just once and without a turnaround. And then the whole piece gets repeated, so the form ends up being A, A, B, A. So let's take a look at the A section. Now what I like doing is just tracing the, the bass line, first of all, just to get this skeleton of the A section. So we're going to play two notes per bar, and it's going to be it's going to be two bars of F, like this, one, two, so we're playing two notes per bar. Then we go to G for three bars, second bar, third bar, and then we play G flat, and then we're back to F for another two bars. Okay, so let's start again. So it's bar one, two, three bars of G, bar two, one more bar three, then G flat, and then two bars of F. Cool. So let's apply chords to that. So we're going to be using fairly standard bossa nova chords. So we start with F major seventh, we're going to pluck twice per bar. Okay, instead of just playing the bass, now we're going to pluck the chords. So I'm going to pluck all strings together, so it's going to sound like this. One, and two. Then we go to G7, 13. For two bars. On the third bar, we go to G minor 7. And then G flat 7, sharp 11. For one bar, and back to F two bars. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. Bar three, bar four, bar five, bar six, and bar seven. That's the skeleton of the A section. There's a few variations we're going to be adding in just a minute, but that's sort of the over the overview of the A section. Now what you can do is you can, what's quite nice to do is to apply uh, a basic bossa groove to it. Up tempo sounds like this. First you play the thumb, the index in the middle, and the ring fingers. So the fingers are in the middle string, so on the fourth, third, and second. And the bass is on the, the thumb is on the bass E, the, the sixth string. So you pluck all together once. Okay, that's the first step to pluck all together. So we go all together. And then you just do the hand, only the fingers. And then only the thumb and then the fingers one more time. So it's together, fingers, thumb, and then the fingers. It's four step. Now, without the actual rhythm, it's gonna sound like this. Together, fingers, thumb, going to do is we're going to we're going to anticipate the last the last bit where you play the fingers again like so it's going to sound like this 
Instead of playing on the beat, the last one's gonna come on the end. So the counting is one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, now once you get that, um, when you once you master that uh, basic pattern, we can apply over the chord. So let's start with the chord. So that pattern goes over one bar. So when we get the F for two bars, we're gonna do we're gonna repeat that twice. So let's start with our F major seven. One more bar. Then we go to G seven thirteen. One more bar of that. Then G minor seven. G flat seven sharp eleven. F major 7. Just watch out this this G, G flat 7 sharp 11. It's, it's slightly awkward to play. I when I actually am playing this piece, I like using this fingering for the G minor 7. And then I just slide my my second finger down a fret time to grab the other the other notes so you can do a kind of a bar with your or not a kind of a, a half bar with your third finger and the second finger grabs the root otherwise you can go like this you just have to practice a little bit more if you're having trouble with that chord you can play instead just a just a straight G flat seven sounds quite cool as well. It's perfectly fine. So you go from G minor seven to G flat seven into F major seven. Really, whatever, whatever works. Okay, cool. So that's that's the A section. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there's a little turnaround that we're gonna um, add in just a moment but let's first take a look at the B section let's do the same as we did for the A section let's trace the bass movement of that so it's really interesting we started in F major this is in the key of F major the A section what we're gonna do we're gonna sh we're gonna go up a step into F sharp to F sharp major 7 so the B section starts with with two two bars of F sharp goes down to B, so down a fourth, two bars again. So two bars of F sharp, two bars of B. Then we go back to F sharp for two bars, and this time we go up to the D on the fifth fret for two bars again. Then two bars of G, two bars of E flat, then a bar of A, Bar of D, a bar of G, a bar of C, and then we go back. That's the end of the end of the B section. So let's start again. So it's two bars of F sharp, two, two bars of B, one, two, back to F sharp for two bars, and then up to the D on the fifth fret for two bars. Then down to the G for two bars, then to E flat on the sixth fret for two bars, then we go A for a bar, D for a bar, G for a bar, and C for a bar. So if you look at the pattern, um, after we after we go from the F sharp to the B, we have this movement from the F sharp to the D, which is a minor sixth, and then again we have from G to E flat, which is another minor sixth. So that's like a sequence. And then we go from A to D, up a fourth, G to C, up a fourth. So it's kind of like a pattern. It's not hard to uh, master once you kind of visualize that that um, relationship. When we come to the chords, we're going to do the same thing. 
Now this time we're actually playing on the fifth string sometimes. So the bass is going to move down sometimes, but the fingers stay in the same string. So the fingers are going to stay in strings four, three, and, and two. So we start with F, F sharp major seven for two bars. One more time. Down to a B7, nine, or a B9. So the bass move down to the fifth string for two bars. Then we go to F sharp minor seven. To a D9. Down to G minor seven. Flat nine. Then we go to A minor seven to a D seven flat nine. G minor seven to a C seven flat nine. And then we go back to the A section, which repeats. So let's take a look at the B section up tempo. to the F, F major 7 chord and we're back to the A section which repeats. Now in the A section there's a really neat turnaround that you can do. Instead of playing the two bars over the F, we split that into four chords and we fit four chords in the space of two bars and it sounds like this. Instead of just staying in the F major 7. So you go A minor 7 for a half bar, then A flat 7, so here I'm splitting the pattern, so, okay, and then we go to D flat major 7, or major 9, there's a major 7 chord with an added 9, for a half bar again, and then the G flat 7 sharp 11 for the rest of the bar. So it's A minor 7 for a half bar, A flat 7 for the remaining of the bar, then D flat major 9, then G flat 7 sharp 11 for the rest of the bar. So let's see if we can play the whole of the, the song, starting from the A section, going to the B section, and then repeating again into the A section.
Now, at the very end of this piece, what normally people do is they keep repeating the the G flat seven sharp eleven back to F major seven. She just doesn't see. She just doesn't see. You can vamp on that, and then just end on the F F major seventh. Now, if you wanted to turn this into an arrangement where you play the melody and you play the chords at the same time, something that sounds a bit like this. Where you're playing that um, basic bossa groove as well as the melody. Then what you have to do is you have to learn the melody separate. Then learn, We've learned the chords and the next step would be to learn the the melody and then you put them together. So I'm going to show you a version of the melody that you can then use to add some chords if you wish to turn into an arrangement. Now guys, it's really interesting also to take a look at the Stan Getz uh, version, or rather the Jean Gilberto version that he plays in the Stan Getz recording with uh, Astrid Gilberto singing this melody beautifully. Um, because the way that he plays the chords, the, the choice of chords there is, is much more obscure, much more ambiguous. What we hear is this. And we're in the key of, of uh, D flat major but he's playing a version of D flat which actually doesn't have a D flat in it which is very interesting it's, it's fingered like this so it, it almost makes it sound like we're in a key of A flat but we're not we're in a key of D flat so the, the chords there are really interesting and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play slowly and you can and you can see the the chord grids appear and you can follow and learn that version if you like uh, now that you've got the the basic bossa pattern, you'll pick it up very quickly. So we're going to start with the with this chord, which is like a D flat six nine over the base of A flat.
thanks for watching guys this was the girl from ipanema i hope that helps you playing this piece you know these are the two most common ways of playing the girl from ipanema the two most common keys if you're looking to play it as a solo arrangement or you play both the melody and the chords kind of using some of what we learned in this piece and you want to take it to the next level then please check out our patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash alt guitar we have a lesson posted there we also have lots and lots of other lessons there lots of latin more finger style technique lots of backing tracks and things like that so do check it out if you're interested otherwise please subscribe to our channel and we look forward to seeing you soon thanks very much guys bye bye for now mm -hmm.